Hello guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we will learn the skeleton component from end design. The skeleton component is the one that we usually use while we are waiting for the content to be loaded or we are waiting for the API response from the server. So in this video, we will see how we can render the skeleton component in different shapes. We will see how we can adjust the shape of the avatar. We will see how we can show or hide the title line and also we will adjust its width. Then we'll see how we can adjust the number of lines for the paragraph under the title. Also, we will see how we can adjust the width of each and every line in the paragraph. Then we'll see how we can show the individual skeleton components like the avatar, the button in different shapes, the image, then the input. And at the end, we will see how we can show a generic loading or the node component of the skeleton in which we can render our custom components like loading, the icons, etc. Also, we'll see how we can toggle between the skeleton component and the actual content so that we can show the skeleton while we are loading something and then we will show the actual content when the content has been loaded, right? So let's get started. I have an empty ReactJS project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing. So let's go ahead and import the skeleton component from end design and start using it. So it will be skeleton and if we save it, here you go. It has shown the skeleton and if we want to make it loading or in active state, uh, we can use the prop active and set it true. So it will start loading, right? And if we want to show uh, maybe avatar or the profile image here, we can show in that as well. So there are multiple options. We can set as avatar as true. It will show it in default state circle and if you want to change its uh, shape to something else we can adjust using an object we can say shape and adjust its values circle or the square so circle is right now and if we change it to square it will show that in square right and this line is for the title we can if we want to meet it we can uh, set the title as false save it here you go. So there is no title line and these lines are for the paragraph, right? And for the uh, title, if we want to show it, either we can set it true, it will show or we can uh, give it give it subject like we can say its width is maybe we can say 200 pixels. So it will show the title in 200 pixels. If we increase it, it will increase accordingly, right? And these are for the paragraph. So we can adjust that as well. So we can say maybe if you want to meet it, we can say paragraph false. And if you want to show it, we can say paragraph is equal to true. And if you want to further customize these, uh, then we can say uh, we can say the number of rows in the paragraphs. So we can say maybe there are three rows instead of two. So it will show the three lines, right? And we can adjust the width of each row as well. So there are multiple options. Uh, one is we can, if we set the width uh, only once, it will set the width for the, the last one. So for the other one, it will be the 100% or the block. So it has set the width of this one. So it is 100. If I increase it to 200, it will go to the 200 pixel, right? And if we want, somehow we want to adjust the width of each line we can do that as well and in that case in in the width prop we need to pass the array so we can say the first one is maybe 200 pixels second one is 300 and the last one is maybe 100 pixels so if i save it here you go it is 200 then 300 and the 100 right and if we change these values this will apply to the first two lines so maybe if I say 500 pixel and then 500 pixel and maybe I give a 500 pixel and make these two four lines. So it will show the four lines and first, first three will be 500 and then it will be the, the 100 pixels, right? And if we want to show the content after some time of loading, uh, we can use the loading prop and set it its value to true and false accordingly. If we set it true, it will show this whole skeleton if and we set it false it will just hide this skeleton right and here as a child of the skeleton we can show the content maybe we are uh, loading it for sometimes fetching the content or waiting for the response from the server then while that we can show the loading 
once that is available we can show that here right maybe we can show in the h1 we can say data is available now right and if i save it so it will say that data is available now if i set it to true it show like that right so when loading is true it will be showing the skeleton and if it's loading is false and then it will be showing its content right so let's keep it loading there you go and there are individual skeletons available as well uh, like we can say skeleton dot avatar and if we save it so it will only show the avatar skeleton and we can make it active so it will make it active and uh, we can adjust other props as well like uh, we can say its shape if it is square we can choose from there and if it again from the circle right and there are other skeletons available like uh, the button the input the image right and there are one generic node as well so let's try all of these so we can say skeleton dot button here you go and if you want to make it active sorry active save it here you go and then we can say skeleton dot image here you go the image skeleton and we can make this one as active as well here you go and for the button we can uh, adjust other props as well like we can say the block so it will cover the whole width and also we can uh, give it a style if you want to adjust uh, the width and height like we can say its width is maybe 200 pixel here you go and in the shape we can adjust the shape as well so it's whether it's circle default or round so let's try the round one here right and this for the button then the image and then we can say skeleton dot input here you go the input one let's uh, add all of these inside uh, space so that we can adjust the the gap between all of these and we can say the gap size is maybe 12 and distraction is uh, vertical right and let's cut it from here and put it here here you go and there is one generic skeleton uh, that is called skeleton dot node and inside that we can return anything uh, that will be shown so by default it's shown showing a graph and here we can say maybe h6 and we can say maybe loading here you go so it will start show loading whatever we were returning here it will be showing that here and in here we can say uh, the active so it's loading and similarly for this input we can say the, that as active so it will start loading as well and here we, we can return anything like we can return maybe the icons as well from the end design so let's try one of these maybe we can say bar chart save it refresh here you go so with the combination of, of any of these uh, we can create any type of skeleton so if you want a, a very generic or uh, built-in skeleton we can use this one and if you want uh, to build it uh, according to our needs we can uh, create our skeleton using these small components like the avatar button image input and for generic one we can use the node right so that's it on exploring the skeleton component from end design but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel See you in the next video. Thank you.